I mean, considering it's November 18th, it's not too bad, right? California Common, ruin it today. The style of this has kind of a cool history. It goes way back to the gold rush. And uh, they would brew this, um, essentially like big open fer fermenters, and they were brewing steam beer back then. And steam beer, the word steam in that sense, has some different varying uh, opinions of what that means. I've heard a heck can go from the vigorous Krausling that come off during fermentation to the spray of the highly carbonated kegs that would be served at room temperature. I've also heard that has to do maybe with the steam that was coming off Anchor Steam Brewery and you would see it because it was cold at night and steam would come off the roof. The brewery had been around since the 1896. Then it was pretty much going under in 1965. So the brewery is about to close and Fritz Maytag bought it and uh, kind of revived the style. Um, and ever since it's become an actual style that's now in the BJCP guide. And according to the BJCP guide, and I'm gonna read it directly from the source. A lightly fruity beer with firm grainy maltiness, interesting toasty and caramel flavors, and showcasing rustic traditional American hop characteristics. That's the overall impression. Characteristic ingredients. Pill ale malt, non citrusy hops, off the northern brewer, small amounts of toasted malt and or crystal malt, lager yeast. However, some strains often with the mention of California in the name work better than others at warmer fermentation temperatures between 55 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Note that some German yeast strains produce inappropriate sulfur characteristics. Let's go over the grain profile. It's simply two row crystal 40 and a little Munich. And in Munich is because Jamil Janischef recommended it in one of his articles in BYO. I'll link that below in my description. And he said they could add a little bready fullness to it. So I'm throwing about 10% of that in there, uh, Munich 10. Uh, also, my Crystal 40 is about 10%. And that's just going to get more of that caramely sort of copper look to it. I've heard of some people throwing in some pale chocolate malt into this. I'm not doing that. I'm just... Hops, Northern Brewer are very classic for this. In that same article, Jamil Janischef said that... He thought Spalt would be an interesting addition to this, and he's never done it, so I thought I would do it. And then I'm going to end with Perlet. And Perlet, he also recommended as a possible substitute. And the IBUs I'm going for are around 35. Uh, my Esther I'm going for about 10. Uh, my uh, OG is going for about 10.55, a little on the high end, but it's definitely within style. And about 5% alcohol. The yeast I'm using is a WLP 810, which is the California Common Yeast Strain. There's a little bit of a problem with one I have. It's a little bit old. Let me, let me pull it out. This is from Brewyard Beer Company. Um, it's about four months old, maybe five, and then closer to four. I don't have a date on here. I'm an idiot. I should have put a date on this. I'm a little, not a little, I'm really hesitant to use really old yeast. I don't want all flavors in this. I don't want like dead yeast cells floating around in this. I can create all flavors like phenols and potentially diacetyl, and then, you know, autolysis, which can be like that way over the top like rubbery burnt sort of smell if you let a beer sit on de dead yeast cells for a while. I'd rather not put already dead yeast cells into it. So I'm going to use it. I'm hesitant though. So it's a bit of an experiment. So I do know about how old this is. Can yeast about four or five months old handle this and is it going to turn out okay using that? Thankfully it's only one gallon batch. I'm experimenting, having some fun. And uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just get this brew day started.
10.32, I'm on target. Final gravity was at 10.58, going for 10.55. My pre-bill was right on target, and I still overshot it. Last brew day, pre-bill right on target, undershot it. It's all crapshoot sometimes, really. Like I said, I'm hesitant to use this. I'm gonna use it anyway, let's see what happens. So it actually smells good. I think it's still fine, and I'm not getting weirdo, sour, anything. I'm gonna kinda eyeball it here. Should be good. Um, one day, I will start measuring out exactly how much yeast to put in. It's the right thing to do. Just dumping in eyeballing slurry. It's not ideal. I'm going to bring for a while so I kind of get an idea. But still, I'd rather know exactly what I'm putting in here. If I can, I would sell count. Um, I got this down to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. This is set to 62 degrees Fahrenheit, my temp controller. I'm actually going to reset it right now to 61 degrees Fahrenheit because I want to actually uh, do this colder. That's it. Uh, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, stay tuned for the tasting. Uh, should be up in about three, four weeks or so. Yeah, get out there and brew some California beer while the weather's good.